Oh, hi. Hey survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. Going to be continuing our journey through Malden today. And today we're going to be going into the main event of Malden, which is the Malden Center. Should be a interesting time down there. Let me make sure I'm okay as far as weight goes here. Yeah, I think we're okay. Need to find a workbench eventually and uh, modify that shish kebab that we got last episode. So let's see here. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, we got the Key of Hunger last episode. There are more keys to find as well. And they, they lead somewhere. The center itself opens up with the Key of Hunger. So down the rabbit hole we go. In the base game, this is a pretty, well at least in Horizon, it's a pretty brutal dungeon. It's, it's filled with very high level, very dangerous synths, and uh, yeah, it's really fun. One of the scarier dungeons. Not like being spooky or anything, just because, you know, since in Horizon are kind of terrifying. They're very, very strong. That's okay, we've got our trusty... Got our trusty combat rifle and our laser rifle as well. I don't remember if there's anything actually in here or not, um, as far as enemies go. At least, not till later on. Nice bit of free food and booze here, though. Hmm. This says, do not steal and eat this food without permission. If you do, we will exile you. Mold has been picked clean. Uh, I think this is uh, frost stuff. Baldwin has been picked clean. We need to expand more into other areas and send more hunters to the surface or else we will get food shortages. Or else we will get food storages. I think that's supposed to be shortages. Thomas had the idea to check out Saugus Ironworks. Maybe the forges there are still operational. Would be perfect to create a warm surface settlement there. The heat could be used to cultivate more mushrooms. Real mushrooms, not that glowing fungus shit. Okay. Definitely some new frost lore there. I don't think they had anything frost related last time I went through here in the previous playthrough. Seems to have been added. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything as far as enemies go here. Everything is just uh, wiped clean. There are, in the base game, there are some bodies. Dead, dead raider bodies, pretty much, laying around, um, which is why there's bloodstains everywhere. I suppose the bloodstains make sense, canonically in Frost anyway, because, you know, Malden men and all that stuff. Makes for a pretty creepy area, though. You know, Jangles is pretty creepy, too. Never really thought about that, but he's also pretty creepy. In addition to uh, the symbol clapping monkey guy. Novice terminal here, but it doesn't seem to do anything. There's no robot here. Maybe you normally you can release the robot, but 
you can't in frost because he's not here. Danger, deep cold water, do not swim. Dev's having some fun there. Okay, we'll do some Nuka-Cola, I guess. Get some Sandy back in the process here. We've got enough food. We ought to be good for our journey here. That we're going to be taking. Not going to worry about the bottles too much. We have plenty of uh, water to be going with for now. Okay, let me check the train car here as well. Make sure we didn't miss anything on here. On both of them, actually. This is the perfect music for this area, too. The really creepy music. Good choice, RNG. Good choice. I'll check this real quick, I guess. Ugh, gosh. That one was ready to go already. I can't believe how... There we go. How hard even the yes. novice ones are. Oh, that really wasn't worth it. I didn't check. What's my Sandy at now? Oh, it's still totally fine. We're still quite sane. That is a trap. A very nasty trap at that. What kind of shotgun did we get? Looked like it was pretty nice. Ooh, a silencer. Um, okay. I want to take this back then. That's a nice shotgun. That's a keeper. There's something about silenced shotguns that are just, they're just cool. I don't know why, but they are. Like the one that's, uh... Uh, what the hell is his name? The bad guy in, uh... No Country for Old Men uses. It's just such a cool weapon. Okay, this requires a key. And I think the key is on the other side. There's usually a turret here, too. All this stuff has gotten removed. I think to make it a more creepy area that's just empty in here, you know? I think that kind of adds to it. So yeah, on this side, yes, here we will find the key, the key of fear in Alan Finch's journal number two. Let me uh, read the journal number one to refresh your memory as well. July 6th, 2080, Molden Center has been picked clean. Colburn and I have been sent out to try our hand at hunting. Imagine fresh meat. No more stale old cram for us. Orville said he saw a deer in the area, but everything we track soon disappears without a trace. It's infuriating. July 10th, 2080. We've noticed a figure tracking us. Kor calls him Ithaqua, Windwalker. He watches us hunt, but disappears before we can get a good look. Corwin thinks he's been stealing our prey and has it in mind to capture the man, but I say leave him be. He cannot possibly be responsible on his lonesome. Okay, so this is number two. July 17th, 2080. Each day we press further and further into the wastes. Corwin is determined to find Ithaqua's den. As he is not from the station, there must be another bunker nearby. I grow anxious. This seems wrong. July 20th, 2080. There was no bunker, only a feeding ground. I swear to you, I have never seen such horror in my life. Bodies strewn across the snow, torn limb from limb, and it wasn't just deer. 
What we track is more animal than man, a demon in man's skin. Corwin is gone, but I know where he is. He seeks Ithaqua. I fear that he will not survive the encounter. And this requires the Key of Fear. That mine is active, by the way. Should you come here on your own, make sure you're careful and disarm that. I have uh, died to that one before. This opens up the other side over here. And we go down. There are normally, I think, some turrets and stuff down here, but I'm pretty sure it's all been removed. Just an empty, just an empty area with some very bloody dead bodies, dead skeletons, really. There is a fusion core here, which I will gladly take. Thank you very much. Here's the key of the angel, and Alan Finch's journal three of four. July 21st, 2080. It's over. He trapped the beast in the sinkhole just north of town. Up close, I see that Ithaca is even more terrifying than I'd imagined. It wears a mask of white bone, behind which its bright eyes track me. They have an unnatural gleam to them, almost mocking in nature, as if they know something I do not. It's unnerving, but it is done. We will never speak of this again. The station need not worry themselves with this creature. July 28th, 2080. We were wrong. God help and forgive us, we were wrong. He came to us, Ithaqua. He looked me dead in the eyes, and I swear under that mask, he smiled as he tore us apart. Tore the whole station apart. I can't get out. I press deeper, but I cannot get out. So Ithaqua was not really... Not really a man. Or maybe something more than the man... I guess we'll see soon. Sweet. Chained up on the other side. we got a bed here we can sleep in if we need to. There were some uh, seams in the areas that have been kind of patched together here, but it looks like the modders have repaired that, which is really good. I'm really happy about that. So yes, this is the Molden Line, uh, the infamous Molden Line. There's also the old gullet sinkhole over here, whichever way you choose to go through. I think I'll be going into the Malden line for now. So we can go back to Malden Center if we want still. That old gullet sinkhole thing... That's a bug that's persisted for like all of Frost, I think. Should disappear once I go up through here. Genesis 2812. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and on the top of it reached to heaven, and behold, the angels of God ascending and descending. The angels, eh? So this is the Malden line. I'm going to probably end up reloading here if this doesn't go away pretty soon. I'll take the moldy food. I can use that for making antibiotics later. Not that I need them so much now, but... Eh, it's always nice. What if I look at something... No, that old gullet's think the whole thing is still there.
Exodus 23.20 Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Someone uh, chopped their hand off, it looks like, although it's been picked clean, just uh, bones at this point. Suppose, waste not, want not. Okay, I'm going to save real quick, guys, and I'm going to reload to see if I can get rid of the uh, the bug with the old gullet sinkhole thing sitting there. That's, that's always been like that. Okay, it's gone now. Excellent. Creepy music is gone too, unfortunately, which is unfortunate, but, uh, you know, is what it is. So we descend further on the molden line. And, uh, yeah. This is where we get into a point of no return scenario. Corwin's warning and a mining helmet just in case you need to see down there. So this is Corwin, the brother of Alan, who went looking for Ithaqua. To any survivors from Malden Center, we've retreated down this old ventilation shaft and are preparing our defenses in the under tunnels. If that thing comes back, we'll be safer there. Use the rope ladder to climb down. It's quite a drop. Corn Finch. And by quite a drop, he, uh, he's not kidding. There is literally a pitfall down here, I think. Also a side room here, if you, uh, manage to jump down here like this. Laura Sessions Journal. We can't run from it. Corwin says we'll be safe down in the pit, but that won't save us. It will come for them, as it always does. I can only hope to hide away. Maybe it will pass me by. Unfortunately, she did not make it. I think maybe they were thinking that they could they could uh, trap it if it jumped down here by impaling it. Definitely get another save in here. I want to hop into uh, photo mode for a second here. You guys can see this in all its glory. The Malden men praying to their shrine. And uh, that looks like it is the pale horse right there. Unfortunately, I have to, I have to get out of my power armor to get rid of the, uh, the red glow on people, but uh, you get the idea. You get the idea. So, yep. They are tanky, these Malden men. Oh, that combat shotgun's gonna be a pain. So here is the uh, next really, really nice there we go. melee weapon. In fact, this one's better. Pretty sure this one's better than the, the uh, shish kebab. It just is straight up better than the machete too. More damage, uh, bleeding and poisoning. Just better overall. So later, machete. I'll uh, never use you again, unfortunately.
And yeah, just a nice, uh, nice bunch of skulls there. These, I would assume, are the bodies of all the people that were in the line that were trying to get out, trying to escape Ithaqua. But it would not be deterred. In Ellen Fish's Journal 4 of 4, it came for us just like Corrin said it would. No, it came for him. He was the one that tried to trap it. He was the one that tried to kill it. Corwin, it's his fault. He did this. I need to give him to Ithaqua a sacrifice. So this is the uh, the beginning of when they started to sacrifice to Ithaqua, or the angel as they call it. And it sounds like they sort of unleashed the angel... on their enemies occasionally, though not always. Okay. I think that's actually explosions. Yeah, I'm sane, so... Melvin Koch's journal. When I was a younger man, I spent my days on the trail, hiking, climbing, experiencing nature in all her glory. Winter 36, I was in Zion, trekked all the way from SLC. Some rocks gave out, and next thing I know, I'm at the bottom of a ravine with my legs snapped like a wishbone. Night was coming, and the temperature was dropping fast. It was a sticky situation, worst I've ever been in. And to make matters... And to make it better, I'm sitting there, freezing to death. I see two bright eyes peek out from above, taunting me. I'd heard stories of mountain lions on Zion's trails, but I'd never seen one. Stirring all this, all I'm thinking is, hell, this ain't the end of it. Well, I did just what any sane man would and scream in her face. Just kill me now and be done with it, you know? Well, she'd no sooner heard me than she run off, disappeared in the blink of an eye. And in her place, a park ranger and two worried campers. So they'd heard some growling and that out that a ways. Damn cat saved my life. I think about that a lot. Whenever I'm in a hairy place, I see those eyes glowing like twin beacons in the dark. Well, the, the eyes that you saw down here, Melvin, were probably not... Quite the same. Not helpful eyes. I would say. What the hell? Whoa. Okay, I guess there's fire there. There's invisible fire. It's like I'm taking tons of damage there. That's very strange. Right, I'm going to do some uh, buff tats and psycho buff. <laughs> Weakness? Really? Well, whatever. Got the stuff to take care of it at least. And I'll take some uh, of this stuff too. Okay, so don't go over there, I guess, because stuff's on fire. That's very odd. I wonder if the fire has, like, died down now and I can go through here. <laughs> think I was getting hit by the this thing. I'm not sure how that is exactly, but it doesn't exactly make sense. <laughs> There's so many tripwires here. 
Kind of hilarious, actually. They really don't want you going this way. There's no alternative, though. You kind of have to go that way. Nothing is real. I don't think I can avoid these. I guess I took some damage, so I guess it's not that bad. Ah! Oh, here we are. Well, I'm already chemmed up, so that's good. Um, I do have some regular jet. Put that on to uh, four, I guess. Unbind my bench from four. Okay, so I do have jet on four now, yes. How much damage are we sporting here on this thing now? Huh, I don't see the, uh, the fine tune. Oh, maybe it is on the end of it. Anyway, didn't see the end of uh, the thing on there. Yes, yeah, sir, never mind. Okay, 214's not bad. It's pretty reasonable. Oh, hi! Okay. That was uh, Ithaqua. I thought I'd be cute and use a bear trap on him, but uh, he kind of jumped out before before I uh, got up. Oh, I guess you guys can re like rewind and see more information there if you want to take a better look at him. Mysterious Serum. Which is a whole bunch of strength and DR. Minus 10 sanity, though. Broken key and Corn Finch's journal. And there's also a smiley hood, which is Janice's calling card. Okay, so Corn Finch's journal. Alan never believed that Ithaca was a man. He liked to think that Windwalker was some force of nature, a mutated bear perhaps, or wolf, something that always was and always would be. He didn't see what I saw. Ithaca was a man once, no different from you or me, but he succumbed to that most base and primitive urge we've all felt to let go. He let go of his humanity and became something twisted and corrupt, something that was no longer human. I wonder what the man he was before the war and what he will become in time. We'll find out more about Ithaqua later on. There's more to the story. But we won't find out about that until we're nearing the end of the Commonwealth portion of our journey. Okay, I believe that's all here. Use our skeleton key. And uh, this one goes back this way. So down goes into the sewers with a lot more molden men and up actually goes right into downtown Valenti Station. The angel was uh 
I'm more worried about personal right protection. beside you know, these guys pretty much when you're not expecting hey officer reporting for duty what did you find out Okay, so it looks like I found them. They're all at Salem. Okay, so that is uh, Malden Line. We're going to report back to this guy on Salem. We found all the Themis cultists. They are of Salem. It looks like I found them. Interesting. What did you see? Maybe I found out something. Well done. Now give me that. That's enough evidence to confirm that they're blowing off maniacs. We need a strike now, before they can gather up more abominations. You're allowed to assemble a team under your orders, to annihilate those mutants. Now go back there and make sure you leave no survivors. Okay, so I could have recruited people, yeah? <clears throat> Hello, sir. Listen up, soldier. Come with me. I need your help. You know the mission? Sure thing. Okay. Let's witch hunt to Salem. It's gonna be all right then. I'm sure of it. Let's do this. Can I recruit more? <clears throat> hey, how's it going? Listen up, soldier. Come with me. I need your help. You know the mission? Sure thing. Okay. Let's witch hunt to Salem. You don't have to tell me twice. Lead the way. Let's witch hunt do this. to Salem. Stay calm. Will they just follow me now? Yeah, they do. Awesome. Hey, hey. What? Nothing else for now. You'll always be welcome here. <clears throat> Hello, sir. Listen up, soldier. Never mind. Okay, this guy I can't uh nothing else for now. I can't recruit yet. Or maybe it's a maximum of two. That could be the case, too. Not really sure. Okay, well, two more pack mules is pretty good. That's not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump stuff off here. And I'll see if I need to, m to modify... Well, I'll see if I can modify this thing at all. I have a feeling I can't modify this. I'll probably need to do blacksmithing to get this into uh, good shape. I want to, um, I want to take, well, this thing has really good stats, right? Like, what's my other shotgun look like here? I think this one's perfect, except it has no suppressor. So, well, and I mean, the recon scope is, is not ideal, but I can just make a regular scope for that. Take that one out, and uh, I'll take the suppressor off this. Then we can sell this one, I guess. I wonder. Hey. What? No, nah, I can't. I was gonna see if I could order him to get into my power armor. Like you can, companions. Okay, so I can dismiss them as well. That's all for now. Which means they'll come back here, I think. So I could load them up and have them come back on their own. Assuming they don't, you know, die on the way. Okay, so let's, um... This has a heavy frame receiver, too. What is... Oh, this is my combat rifle. Duh, I'm stupid. Okay, take off the suppressor here. No muzzle. Everything else I don't need... And there we go. It's a perfect uh, combat shotgun. Um, you do get more range out of it without the suppressor, but the recoil um, is really, really good. So, eh, kind of like it like that. Could also do a quality automatic receiver, which is a tiny bit less damage. I mean, it's a little bit more DPS, but not really worth it that much. Eh, I think it's good as it is. 
probably take that scope off and just do a reflex sight. Though the accuracy goes way down, I'm assuming that means the spread goes down. I'll probably hip fire the thing. Probably just doesn't matter, I don't know. We'll leave it like that, it's fine. This thing has the best thing you can get on it, which is a sacrificial blade. Uh, the shish kebab, you can do extra flame jets, which is, uh, it's more damage, but it's not anywhere near as good as the pale horse. Split damage is never as near, it's anywhere near as good. Really a cool weapon, though. Kind of, uh, doubles as a torch for you as well. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, uh, back for now. Keep using our combat rifle until we're out of ammo for that. can dump off a lot of my spare meds here. I don't really need them that bad. Keep my mentats on me just in case I need to use a bunch. So, I mean, technically now we have a pretty fast route to get back up to mold and, like, well, at least we can go... We can go from Malden back to here through the Malden line. It's pretty quick to go to go back that way. Doesn't take very long. Um, but we can't go from here the other way because you have to go up, unless you have a jetpack. I don't think you can really make it, so. Okay, guys, so I think I'll probably do some inventory management stuff, some vendoring, some sleeping and stuff off screen here. I think we might be ready to take on one of the U.S. Army remnant areas. Um, maybe Fort Strong is pretty close by, so I think I have science up now to four, so I should be able to make the targeting computer that I need for a missile launcher. I do have a triple barrel missile launcher, so that should be good enough. Uh, quad would be better, but you know, triple is good enough. And uh, yeah, with our laser rifle, we ought to be able to go and take out one of the U.S. military installations and that will hopefully lead us to some better power armor and other better gear so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time